welcome to the Python series about big data technologies, uh, where we can help you choose the right technology for your projects. So let's look at the NoSQL camp of big data technologies. Um, NoSQL technologies originally got uh, popular because customers of relational uh, databases were struggling uh, with uh, scalability or sometimes with scalability at the right cost of relational databases. And uh, they realized that not all features and functionalities and attributes of relational databases are required for the traffic. Specifically, uh, relational databases all focus around implementing so-called ACID properties, which is a a atomic uh, uh, transactions, uh, consistency, integrity, durability. So um, customers realize that they can rely, relax some of those properties and instead of consistency, let's say, choose eventual consistency or potentially make the uh, data not as durable and potentially lose some very small amount of information in case of uh, certain failures and they would be okay. So things like, you know, uh, comments on the website, if you lose few, not a big deal, right? As opposed to losing few transactions in the banking, uh, uh, you know, in the bank accounts when, you know, transaction could be a million dollars. So it's a big, it's a big deal. So when you can uh, relax some of those properties, those NoSQL technologies can be used. And there's a huge number of them, and they're all different in what their best sort of use case and what best focus. React is uh, as an example, key value store, which is uh, very simple to use, and it's a sort of a total uh, availability focus on total availability uh, solution, very highly available. The Couchbase and MongoDB are more document store uh, uh, document stores and they are a little bit more like relational technologies uh, but uh, they let developers sort of uh, uh, manage their data in more structured way don't uh, don't force customers to do a lot of uh, uh, data modeling in advance and uh, uh, much more flexible on the schema the Cassandra is sort of a columnar store which is sort of unlike maybe more uh, many others and it uh, does actually require quite a bit of uh, work before you can uh, actually start using it. Uh, so it needs to be some data modeling done. But it is designed for very highly available and very highly scalable and importantly geographically distributed, um, distributed deployment. So we have customers who actually have uh, Cassandra clusters which with the nodes in you know multiple continents you know somewhere in Singapore couple on uh, in the US and uh, you know one in Europe for example so it's sort of always on uh, distributed environment uh, highly available and uh, um, highly scalable the Apache HBase is actually part of a Hadoop set of systems it's actually deployed on top of HDFS on top of Hadoop and uh, uh, but designed uh, when you need to access data in more random fashion rather than a massively scale uh, uh, large amounts of data like you traditionally do with Hadoop. And Redis is sort of an in-memory uh, uh, kind of a caching maybe layer when you uh, dedicate your subset of data and store it mostly in memory for very fast response time whether it's lots of reads, lots of writes or both. So they are sort of specialized, uh, 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 each of them are mostly specialized in uh, what they can do and when they should be used. 